An interesting theory developed by physicist Dr. Gerald Schroeder uh, is that as space expands, so time uh, stretches with it. And Dr. Schroeder has calculated from our perspective that the universe is 13.8 billion years of age. But with God's original perspective, it would now actually only be about five and a half days old. Are you familiar with this argument and is it a sound argument? And can we look at Genesis in this way? Well, I read Schroeder's books and I uh, actually had dinner with them when I was oh. speaking at uh, Texas A&M University. In fact, both of us spoke that evening because uh, we shared the Trotter Prize. So we got to address the physics and astronomy department there, but we got to discuss this. We had a friendly discussion on it. And uh, the point I was making is, first of all, once we recognize the creation days in Genesis 1, are six consecutive long periods of time, there really is no need to appeal to God telling us a story from a relativistically time dilated frame. Uh, moreover, if you look at Genesis 1 2, it says the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of waters of planet Earth, which implies that the God is telling us the story of creation from the same space that we're in. Okay. Uh, and as Schroeder admitted to me over dinner, he's been revising his model uh, over uh, more than a decade because there was a time we thought the universe was 15 billion years old. So he kind of worked out the numbers to make it work and he had to keep revising it. Now he's saying 13.8, but he does admit he's got way too early of a date for God creating Adam and Eve. Right. He's got Adam and Eve at about a half billion years ago and that's way too early. So he says, yeah, I'm still working on it. And uh, I also recognize that, uh, you know, he is an Orthodox Jew, uh, but he's unusual and that he gives credence to the Kabbalah. You know, I've met many Orthodox Jews that say, hey, it's the Tanakh, the Old Testament, uh, and the, uh, uh, what do they call that commentary on the Old Testament? The, uh, the, the, Mi the Talmud, the Mishnah? The Talmud. Yeah. Yep. yeah, many of them will say, I hold the Talmud and the Tanakh equal in authority to one another. Uh, Schroeder says it's the Tanakh, uh, the Talmud, and the Kabbalah. Okay. So most Orthodox Jews will not go that far because the uh, Kabbalah is highly mystical. Mystical, yeah. And, and it's filled with numerology. And that's where Schroeder's getting his numerology from. It's from the Kabbalah. Uh, but I'm basically saying none of that's necessary once we recognize that a literal reading of uh, Genesis 1 and 2 uh, forces the belief that the creation days are not 24 hours, they're six consecutive long periods of time. Hmm.